E. Brian Hayes having himself quite a week, a 429 average on a five-game hitting streak. Nobody knows how good of a player he is better than his manager, Derek Shelton, who joins us right now. And Derek, this is a Pittsburgh Pirates team that I admire because you guys are gritty. You have some young talent. The future is bright. Let's talk about Key Brian Hayes. Of course, signed him to an extension. What's worked for him so well lately? Yeah, well, welcome. Good afternoon, uh, Alana. But uh, it's been great. Key's really swung the bat well. I think uh, swinging at strikes has been the biggest thing. You know, he and Andy Haynes have worked a lot on uh, his ability to make sure he's swinging at the right pitches, and we're really seeing him do that uh, over the last week or so. You know, you mentioned um, what he's been doing offensively and a couple of other guys as well, but I was so impressed with the way that you guys handled the Los Angeles Dodgers, not only there in Pittsburgh, but also at Chavez Ravine, uh, giving them their first sweep there uh, since 2000 by you guys. What was it about that particular couple of series that allowed you guys to play so well against them? Well, I think we we pitched really well in, in both series against the Dodgers and really played good defense. I mean, the, especially the last couple games out in L.A., you know, we really made, they made some aggressive base running plays and we combated it with really good defense and allowed us to to stay in the game. And then I think the second part is our bullpen did a really good job. They had some scoring opportunities that we were able to uh, thwart, got some double play balls, and uh, that really helped us out in that series. And Derek, the Dodgers are a lot of veterans, and you said it yourself that you guys are running out a lot of young players, a lot of rookies. Tell me more about the teaching moment that you have to have as a manager of some younger guys and how you've enjoyed you know, just watching them develop and, and putting on your educational cap. Yeah, I think development's the key thing for us. Uh, like you said, we have a ton of young players, a bunch of rookies up right now. There's going to be times we make mistakes. There's going to be things that that we, you know, we screw up, and we have to make sure that we continue to teach and develop. And, and that's going to be something that's really important for us in Pittsburgh, not only this year, but moving forward. And uh, I really give credit to our coaching staff. It's a lot of guys that have spent time in development, and uh, they thrive on being able to, to have those conversations within the game. And, you know, like I said, we will make mistakes, but the biggest thing is just learning from them, moving forward, and making sure we don't make them again. And you know what? If you didn't know David Bednar before, you certainly know who he is right now. He is a special player uh, in, in your bullpen. Tell me more about him. Well, I think he's a special player because of the fact that he can do multiple things. You know, he he has pitched two innings multiple times for saves. Uh, he's pitched at the highest leverage of situations, continues to develop. A lot of people look at the 97, 98 and think, oh, you know, he's a fastball guy. But the, the execution of the curveball has really become a good pitch. And the split has become an elite pitch also. And because of it, you're dealing with a guy that pitches at the end of the game that has multiple weapons. You guys have a better record so far than the Philadelphia Phillies do. Obviously, you never want it to come at the hands of somebody's job. Joe Girardi has been replaced there by a guy that you know very well, Rob Thompson. Tell me a little bit more. Didn't you play with him or, or for him in the Yankee minor league system? What can you tell me about him? Yeah, unfortunate situation with Joe. He's a friend, and you know we all know things like that happen. Uh, I could not be more excited for Rob Thompson. He's been a mentor of mine for Numerous years. Uh, he's a guy that I played for in the minor leagues. When I was a Yankee coach, I worked, you know, directly with him. I owe a lot to Rob Thompson, and I think he's a guy that's been overlooked for way too long in our game. Uh, I could not be more excited for him to get the opportunity to manage in the big leagues. And, and I think, uh, you know, the Philly players are going to be really excited about uh, about Tom's getting this opportunity. Is it a little strange, though, that he's on that staff and then, of course, uh, kind of takes over? I'm sure the, the dynamic is, is interesting, but at the same time, finally getting a, an opportunity because you're not the first one to say that he has deserved this chance for a while. Yeah, I think it's an interesting thing. And, and I saw Joe's comments earlier, and I give Joe a, a ton of credit. He's a, the ultimate professional because Thompson was with him in New York, you know, when they won a World Series. And then Thompson's been with him in, in Philly. And it's one of those things that it is challenging when you're on a staff, but there is a job to do, and it is a deserving opportunity. And uh, I think Thompson will do a really nice job. All right, you have a starting a series tonight with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Kind of give us uh, your scouting report for that series. Yeah, I mean, we're coming off playing really well. You know, we had the off day yesterday. Uh, the Diamondbacks team does a lot of things really well. They, they play the game differently. They're playing it, you know, a little bit small ball and uh, creating runs that way, which is a, a really unique opportunity. So uh, looking forward to this series, and uh, it should be a good one. 
And JT Brubaker toes the rubber for you tonight, Derek, and he's had a couple of really good starts recently. What's worked for him? Yeah, I think the execution of the sinker is what's really stood out. Like you said, he has had a couple good starts. Unfortunately, you know, two starts ago defensively, we didn't play as well. But the execution of his pitches with the sinker has been one thing that's really stood out, being able to put the ball on the ground. And he has to stay in attack mode. He, he's got to go right after guys and, and make sure we're not giving up free passes. All right, Derek Shelton of the Pittsburgh Pirates. As always, we appreciate your time. Best of luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Alana.